from building one echo, move 10 meters to the north, northeast, call contact on three, looks like, uh, vehicles. We will cut our enemies down in droves. Our fires will be the substance of their nightmares. We will protect our brothers and sisters. The fields of the dead will serve as evidence of our passing. I like Marine infantry and I like the way they fought. They had shoes that none of you had. They had, didn't have proper shoes on and didn't have any shirts or anything. What do you expect troops are going to do at 30 below zero? Now, I was used to it, but you had kids in there that couldn't. Couldn't. The Marine Corps is a force like no other. We have no peer. Our resilience is as unbreakable as our spirit. Because of this, we can endure any adversity when faced with impossible challenges, we overcome and destroy any enemy in our path. Our success in Fallujah was, it was the individual Marine behind his personal weapon, but it was the Marine Rifle Squad and all the components of support that backed that squad leader and his squad. That was the secret weapon. You know, we talk about superpower weapons, all the capabilities of the nation. A rifle squad, a Marine, is the most uh, fearsome weapon on the planet Earth. We're the only organization that, at the core, we ensure that first and foremost, our Marines are trained to be warfighters. We provide those Marines the fundamentals needed to be adaptable. And if they're adaptable, they're resilient. If they're resilient, they can problem solve. And they, they can problem solve, they're gonna be able to make the mission. From the challenges of boot camp to battlefields anywhere in the world, our Marines persevere and win because no matter where they're from, they possess the courage and determination to overcome any obstacle. Our non-commissioned officers, the backbone of our Corps, make decisions and lead from the front with ruthless efficiency. The squad leader that I had across the three squads in Afghanistan were, they were brilliant, just very different people. But when it came to understanding the environment, um, understanding our equipment, and understanding the enemy, being able to adapt requires awareness. In every battle we fought, the key has been decisive leadership carried out by our junior Marines. They are the difference makers, willing to walk point, be first through the door, and if necessary, make the ultimate sacrifice for their brothers and sisters. When you're in a bad situation, the only thing you are allowed or permitted to do is to determine how you're going to fight your way out of that situation or scenario. You have mentally prepared yourself for these things, and then they happen. And then they're difficult, but you're able to navigate through them because you are a trained, professional warfighter. As the world changes, we are changing with it. 
we are equipping our forces with cutting-edge technology while also embracing our heritage, which shows us war will never change. America will always need Marines willing to fix bayonets and charge the enemy. We're identifying what's, you know, what we think the next fight is going to look like. That's, you know, uh, force design and where we're moving. Um, and it is very distributed in nature, to say the least. And at the entry level, teaching to think at a different level and to receive inputs and to process different types of technology only supports what they're going to do in two, three years when they are that corporal. The Marine Air Ground Task Force is the tip of America's spear. Adaptable to any situation, the MAGTAF is ready to support our allies and destroy our enemies anywhere in the world. Our Marine Expeditionary Units stand forward deployed as a Naval Response Force. Always on call, in war, and in peace. These were special people. They were incredible people. I'm just thankful that for a moment, I got to know so many incredible heroes. You always want another second, another minute, another hug. But, you know, when the time comes and they're gone, that's it. So what you've said, what you've done, who you were, that's what they're gonna remember. The Fallen didn't make that sacrifice for us to sit around and be sad all day. They, they made that sacrifice with the expectation that we would live in the fullest manner possible. Do what you need to do to get back into the fight and know that the community is there, the brothers are there, the sisters are there, like everybody is there to, you know, to keep the fight going, to keep pushing the fight, because inevitably, like, we need everybody to be operational. We need, you know, that team to come back together and, and continue the mission, because you lose a teammate and you still have to, to keep fighting. The enemies of the nation, we're the finest fighting force in the face of the earth. We've proven it. Coming up on two and a half centuries. Because you cannot beat that which will not stop. I have 35 of the most savage human beings on earth. We are a bunch of rabid dogs. We will continue to be the most elite ground fighting force that there is. And I think that we continue this extreme sense for violence of action, like these Marines are going to continue to pave the way for our military. Be ready, because if you're not ready, the Marine Corps is going to do what they do best, win our nation's battles. For 249 years, Marines have distinguished themselves not just by their valor, but by their readiness to confront the challenges that lie ahead, no matter how daunting those challenges might be. The next fight is on the horizon, and it will demand everything we have. Our reputation as warriors is not just a relic of our past, but a living testament to our nature. Our spirit is one of relentless pursuit, unmatched violence, and a steadfast will to win. Marines, our heritage is one of victory through superior might and unyielding perseverance. As we honor that heritage and our rich legacy today, we must also reaffirm our commitment to our nation, our families, and the Marines to our left and right. We will remain vigilant, and every Marine will be prepared to fight and win, no matter the cost. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Marines, and Semper Fidelis. Fidelis.